the type one action. <laughs> wow, okay, so. Okay, so hey guys, uh, it's me again, JJ from Shit TV, and today I'll be teaching one of the one of the hardest tricks to explain. Okay, it's basically this trick is you gotta try it until you know the concept. I mean, you have to know the concept, and then basically you gotta keep trying it and trying it, and then you definitely get it in the future if you keep practicing and trying it. Uh, I use this trick a lot. I use this trick a lot in my combos. So, uh, so it's the brand soul. If you could, if you guys don't know what the brand soul is, it's basically a laceration to a green triangle, and it looks like that. For you to be able to learn the brand soul, what you gotta know how to do is the hook, which looks like that. Okay. Uh, the bread stool is actually based off the hook. It's the same motion and uh, yeah, it's basically the same motion actually. But you're ripping one string for the bread stool and both of the strings for the hook. Okay, so basically, so basically. Okay, so uh, it's actually the same movement really. It's the same motion and everything. Just that um, you're ripping different uh, strings onto the gap of the yo yo. Okay, so in my previous tutorial of the hook, I, I said I mentioned that uh, you have to lacerate that and you have that slack. Okay, it goes over your finger and rips into the yo yo. So it turns like that. It rips over your finger and slacks into it. It slacks over your fingers and rips into the yo-yo. So, for the brand stall, what you gotta do is actually, uh, like I said, for the hook, you have to whip both of the strings. But for the brand stall, you have to whip the string behind of the hook. Okay, so basically, let me, let me show you this. One of the most important parts of this trick is that when you lacerate, okay, remember you lacerate the back string, okay, when you lacerate it, the back string, it creates a loop, and you have to whip that loop onto the yo-yo, and how you're gonna whip the loop onto the yo-yo is by moving your throw hand, your throw hand front, and once you do that, it will whip the yo the string, to the gap of the yo yo. So uh, right now I have Sims help uh, to hold the yo yo and I will be doing the whipping and lacerating motion. Okay, so basically, okay. So this loop will come around to the back and you'll cross this main string. You cross this main string, and this is where you want to land the yo-yo into, and you'll get your green triangle. So, uh, when you whip it, uh, that's the reason why you have to move your throw hand front. Okay, it looks like that. Then, mm -hmm. once if you move your throw hand front, it will make the loop go into the yo-yo. So, as I said, it's really hard to explain it. Uh, the only thing you really gotta know is that you're whipping the back part of the hook, the back string, and the motion is basically whipping and moving our throw hand front. Uh, I really can't do any further to explain this trick. Uh, I'm really trying my best, okay? Uh, but the moving your throw hand front motion is really important, so if you forget to do that, I can tell you that you're, not, you're never gonna get that trick down. So, once you get it down, you look like that. Okay. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, really hope you enjoyed it and good luck. Okay. Uh, it actually took me like really long to.